Hello and welcome back. My name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable screen recording feature in Microsoft PowerPoint. So this screen recording feature or screen casting feature is only available if you have Microsoft Office 2013, 2016 and above. So 2013 and above. Okay, so when you install it for the first time, like when you install Microsoft Office for the first time, there's a possibility you will not have this feature. So, in the case you don't have this feature under insert, you need to go ahead and update your Microsoft Office. So, to update Microsoft Office or to enable this screen recording feature, you simply go to your start menu and this is possible on Windows 10. If you have Windows 7, 8, 8.1, you will have to do the same thing what I'm doing here on Windows 10. So go ahead and click on the start menu. And if you are on Mac, you will have to figure out how you can do the same thing as well. So go to start menu if you're using Microsoft Windows and then go to settings. So basically you're trying to go to this update and security. So depending on your operating system, Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and 10, go to update and security. And then go to advanced options. And then make sure this is enabled, the very first option, receive updates for other Microsoft products when you update Windows. So make sure it's turned on. Now here it's on now. So basically you have to update your Microsoft Office 2013 and above uh, irrespective of your operating system, be it Microsoft Windows or Mac. If you're missing any feature, you simply have to update Microsoft Office. So in this case, this one, so go ahead and make sure it's turned on. So you definitely want to update Microsoft other products and then go back and check for updates. Now this is going to check for the updates, let it be installed and restart your system, launch your PowerPoint. I'm going to minimize this one. And then go to insert option and you will have your screen recording feature. So simply click on it and now select your portion that you want to record. Now these are the options. You have, here you have a um, uh, pointer. So basically mouse pointer. If you want to record audio, make sure it's, it's check like activated by clicking on it. If you do not want to record audio, simply um, deactivate it. To select area, this is what you do. To record, you simply press this red button here or you can press Windows Shift R. It could be different on Mac and once it starts recording like this, you can stop the pause the recording by pressing windows logo shift r or just pressing this this button here or you can stop it by pressing this or you can press logos windows logo shift q to stop it and as soon as you stop it it saves your recording in here in powerpoint as a presentation now to save it you simply go ahead and right click on it and save media as and you can save it wherever you want it to so i'm going to save it on my desktop name whatever you want to and this going this is going to be saved in mp4 format only now it's been saved now you can go ahead and delete it it's very fast it saves very quickly now the other thing that you can do is basically if you do not want to go to insert every time 
and click this button here start, uh, screen recording button you can add it to this quick access menu by pressing this down arrow and going to more commands and then select insert this is where it's available insert tab and look for this insert screen recording now this is a 2019 if you have 2013 or 16 you may just have screen recording so look for screen recording and insert picture for this you can see this has again screen recording so simply select it and add you will see it says it's already been added so and this is how you can add it to the quick access tool menu basically toolbar and hit ok okay and every time you have to record your screen computer screen simply go ahead and press on it and you'll get your screen recorder working so that's it for this video guys if you have any questions suggestion leave in the comment below i will try to answer it asap thanks again bye for now